So real quick, we wanted to, uh, been, we both have uh, bipods that are kind of not your typical bipods. They're fairly new. Hatch has been around for a number of years. Um, Aaron here has a Rocksteady. He's just come out in the last couple of years. Um, wanted to do a quick kind of comparison review of it and see the pros and cons, what we each kind of like about it and uh, maybe help you make a better decision. They're super expensive bipods, but um, I think in the long run, if you use them a lot, they, uh, they're worth it. So first we have the um, hatch bipod. I like it because I feel its advantages are it's narrow. It's got a nice narrow stance, whereas the Rocksteady is a little wider. It has um, very easy deployment. Pull it out. You're just pushing this clip in to put it back. It's a really easy. Now it's stowed. Now it's out. Um, I really like those aspects of it. It is aluminum. It's not carbon fiber. It has a little more weight to it. Um, other than that, it's. I mean, it has a number of settings on it. You can sit. You can look at the reviews or the videos that Hatch has out there. I just wanted more so do a comparison here of the two. Aaron has the Rock Steady. Um, what do you think about that? Yeah, um, I've had this for probably about going on 16 months now. Um, did use it on a deer hunt or took it on a deer hunt, but didn't end up using it. Just ended up shooting off the pack because it was a, a quicker shot. Um, so almost exclusively on coyotes as well. I do like it, um, kind of some of the points that Ross pointed out, so uh, how narrow it is. Um, I do like that it is a little bit wider. It does feel, especially when you kick the legs all the way forward and you go into that prone position, um, it does seem a little more stable. And these actually go out even farther, so you can make the base even wider. But I think having this wider base, um, I actually prefer it. It seems a little more stable. Um, it does have, and I believe the, the uh, Hatch has this as well, where it has your uh, your tilt. Um, so that's controlled up here. So this is just a quick lock so you can tilt back and forth. Um, I don't normally like to do this, but my I guess I've been perfectly happy with it. And also I went with the pick mount. So this is just on a, I think it's a three inch pick mount. Um, easy on, easy off, because a lot of the times, especially with this, and this gun isn't really that, that long, it's 18 inch barrel, um, but when it goes into the gun case, with the suppressor on there, it's right on the edge of it, or right on the edge of it. If you leave the the bipod on there, um, so it's really easy. Just quick, you know, it's just a cam over, really easy. Um, my two small gripes, I guess they're they're pretty small gripes, but um, this one actually comes with um, they're these metal spike feet. This is kind of like the Atlas or the uh, MDG or any one of those. Like the the PRS guys use them. They're a lot shorter. Um, it comes with rubber caps um, that latch onto it. They're absolutely worthless. Um, they fall off, uh, not only do they fall off the tips, but they also just come off of the, of the stands themselves. And then one of the other major, you know, marketing advantages of this one was the, the fact that you can, um, you can tilt and pan. Um, I found that for coyote hunting is not very useful. Uh, reason being is because you can't lock it open um, it's just a detent, so when you pull it out, there's a slot that it slides into, and as soon as you start panning and you hit that slot again, it pulls it back into it, and so you lose that capability. Um, that might just be a little bit of user error. Um, but other than that, I mean, one of the things I do like is these are, you know, Ross Tan pointed it out, the twist, um, but this thing is, uh, you know, I can sit down, sit on a stool, and I don't have any problems. Uh, you know, being able to get into the gun. I did forget the uh, talk about the cons on this one. The main con on this is it has a through screw that goes through here. And I've gone through three of them now. They've snapped, um, usually in the worst time when I'm on a stand or whatnot. Um, I contacted Hatch, they sent me out a number of replacements, but it's just one of those items that are gonna break on you, um, unfortunately. I've looked at it, if you can machine it out and put a larger screw in there. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm using it for coyote hunting and a lot of movement around, but um, that's one negative, but really the only negative I have on that. Like you said, I do have the pick rail that's easy on off for that if you want to have it off for your um, bag or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do a quick kind of overview. I know they've been out there. I haven't seen a comparison myself, so the fact that we have two here, I wanted to do that.
yeah, hopefully that helped out, help you out. Um, check us out for more videos. Thank you.